Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children. Oh, wait, that's a different show. Excuse me. My name, of course, is the Lyrical Miracle, Greatness Himself, the voice. Give me that crap. The voice of WAW. Of course, I am Chad Epic, and to my right is the Mike's Popping Grub Brawler, the man with absolutely no talent at all, Matt Bishop. And do we got a special night? Pete's off drinking in Tijuana somewhere, so let's bring out the ring announcer. And that's right, not only is our president, he's a top damn ring announcer. Oh, God. How you doing, Mr. Bishop? I'm with you, Chaz, which means my night is not going well, and if this guy is going to be the announcer, he, we are not doing well. And uh, we got the mask up tonight. Not a good sign. They thought I put whiskey in my water bottle. I got something for all my guys. And I got it from home. Chickity, chickity, check, yeah. What's going on, y'all? It's a dirty dealer. It's WAW Aftermath. Some of you might see that Peter Labrie's not here. He's on a singles cruise, a senior singles cruise. Pete's never, never had a love of his life, so he decided to go get one. So on with that. Dirty Deal is going to be the ring announcer tonight, because y'all love hearing my voice. Before you ladies go to bed, when you're with your men, when you're all alone, you're like, damn, I wish I was with Dirty. I know it. I ain't taking no pants off for free. Anyway. Lord of the Ring is three weeks away, baby. L-O-T-R, the road to legacy. It's going to be the biggest, baddest L-O-T-R ever. And at L-O-T-R, the team championships will be on the line. So tonight, the final three teams will be defeated in the team title, uh, team title tournament that started off on the first aftermath of the year. Also tonight, the team titles are on the line and to bring the hardcore match. I don't see many weapons out there. Did anybody bring weapons? I see one there. I know weapon stores don't take EBT cards. Oh! So I know that's why I don't see many weapons out there. Ain't gonna get no welfare check weapons. Gonna bring some government cheese up in here. All right. So we got that, baby. We got LOTR, the team finals tournament, and bring the hardcore. But I want to start off tonight talking with some skinny ass fool who thinks he's tough shit. Bring out Troy Garboski. The good old boy Troy Garbo. Someone who knows a lot about government cheese, Mr. Bishop. Well, he took a severe beating last week at the hands of Carnage. And I imagine he has some words as well for the uh, El Presidente here. Fans love him, he loves them. Get them fired up. Get your gonorrhea, get a microphone. Yeah, Thank I don't you want your friend. lips bit touching my lips. <laughs> here we go, Garbo. So, people want to know why I'm bringing you out here, right? I do too, I do too. Listen, you be late all the time, you be drunk all the time, you're six feet tall, you smell like cheap hookers and slits, all right? You walk around here like you're the man, you ain't nothing, you lost the carnage. You forgot to mention that my fingers taste like Fritos, baby. Woo! That's, that's great. I bet these fans never tasted Fritos before. That's cool, man. But listen here. Look at you. You come out here and you all dance. You want to dance like the Dirty Dealer. We all know that. Dirty Dealer's the best dancer around. Ain't Jersey, ain't Troy. It's a Dirty Dealer. You are like one of the best. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So here's the thing, baby. I've been seeing you trying to be all bad, all tough, whatever. So I got, I got a match for you tonight. I got a match, baby. You're gonna, this is gonna be the toughest match of your career. It's gonna take every ounce of everything. This man right here, he's gonna take you down bit by bit by bit. Well, that's why I be saying the prayers and eating the vitamins and doing the drinking of my 16 ounce curls, baby. I'm ready for any, any challenger. Yeah, your vitamins come right straight into your arm. But anyway, this man, he, he, he's a rising star in WAW. The fans love him. Right? These makeup wearing fans love him. Right? They be saying, woo woo. Right? He's one of the rising stars. Woo -woo. They like ICP. They like the makeup, the juggalos, the great. He's a chicken hunter. Bring out riddles, baby. Oh. He gonna kick your ass. And another fan favorite on his way. Riddles, big victory last week. Upset victory. And you know what? Andreas Reyes is suspended. He's the Lord of the Ring. And he's, oh, Andreas Reyes is suspended.
Sunday for laying his hands on official outside of range, and he's lucky I didn't get up from his table because I would knock him straight back to Puerto Rico for it. I'll tell him next time I see him. You tall. You taller than you look. Look at the bones right. on it. Look at the bones so, on this guy over here. So let's start. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot something. I forgot something. There's somebody else in this match. Don't worry about this guy, though. This guy, you're not going to have to worry. you got to worry about Riddles, not, not uh, the Raging Demon Carnage. Me and Riddles, we're going to have a good... Wait a minute. Uh-oh. You didn't say nothing about... Oh, and I just uh, said Carnage now coming... As I was saying, this may be a fatal four-way. You got Troy Garbo, you got Riddles, and uh, the other two contestants are Carnage. So, I mean, now the Dirty Deal is sitting by the table, Matt Bishop. Why don't you want to talk about our president and how bad he's doing? Why don't you want to talk about he's doing a bad doing? Actually, I'm just kind of curious. You're supposed to be Greek. Where are you from? The south side of the Aco uh, Acropolis? Don't be talking crap about the Acropolis. Man, he's That's a big word, isn't it there, boss? Sorry. I'll use a smaller one next time. Anyway. You do realize that man's high? Your paychecks. Yep. Uh, in the ring, this, is a this man sits, sits me next to you. You think I'm giving him any credit? It doesn't matter. You the know, match he looks wants like. To make you look good. Actually, he's next door. And now, Carnage and Riddles linking up. Carnage, uh, Riddles, yeah, stupid move there. That's the smartest thing Carnage has ever said in his whole life. All right, the man has power. The man has. The man has a monosyllabic vocabulary, and Riddle's fighting back, trying to get some momentum going. The fans behind him, and Carnage oh, comes. Well, no. Nah. Yeah, you can't. Up, over, oh, wow. No, oh, clean up aisle six. Riddle's rolling away, trying to get a, get a little bit of distance, and Garbo now. It's not a tag match, baby. Oh, uh, Garbo, who definitely has some uh, bad blood. Clothesline, down goes Garbo, and Carnage going to work. Oh, Carnage is, uh, oh, no, no, Carnage is stomping him down. Oh, big, big chop, knocking him out of his boots. And now send him into the corner, into Riddles. Oh, no, here comes. No! Getting out of the way just in time. Riddles picking him up like a sack of potatoes. Big backbreaker. And in comes Garbo. Down. Oh! And, and Carnage might, might have to take these two a little more seriously than I think he went in go, going in as. And nope, Garbo faking him out. And now Riddles. Well, to, to be fair to Riddles, big win last week. He wins, gets a win over Garbo. That's a big feather in his cap. And he definitely has a bit more uh, bit more of a chance against Garbo than he does against Carnage. Trying to get him up. Nope. Oh, wait a minute. On two. Nope. The great thing about this industry right here, you're always a three-pound away from losing. And you know Riddles could be a one-way one. Troy Garbo and Carnage, a former WAW champion. What has Riddles done? Riddle has, oh, Riddles has, Riddles has, and Carnage, big trip, drag it out, Garbo, and another big clothesline, oh boy. 
But no, Riddles Whoa. made a very strong showing since his, his uh, arrival here. And, whoa, wait a minute. Dragging up Carnage by the ears. Didn't expect that. And uh, I think he just made him mad. Carnage is always mad. You can't make your man mad. You just make him more pissed off. Six and one. Try to steal a rip from him early in Kato. And it, I, I saw that. Now, uh, choke, trying to choke him out and pulling him to his feet. Oh, wait. Troy Garbo up on the top. Heading upstairs. Incoming. Oh, Big. Off the top rope. Troy Garbo with the schoolboy on the belt. One, two. Nope. Not enough. That's not, it's not over yet, Taylor. Don't worry. That's two. I'll say this, I'll say this, all three of these men have been putting in a good show tonight, trying hard, riddles to his feet, oh, into Carnage, shoulder block in the corner, and, and now school another schoolboy, and One, two, two. Riddles kicks out. now Garbo turning his attention on Carnage, now this is actually some smart strategy here, trying to keep Carnage worked down, trying to, and I think he broke his hand on that one. Chopping a brick wall there, but oh wait a minute, you know this is incoming. Really wait a minute, oh, double a big drop kick. But and bulldog. Wy right there with a the bulldog out of the corner. And now going for it. Oh. One, two, no, just a one count. I think he's gonna have to work Carnage down on this one a little bit more, but he is smart trying to trying to wear the big man down. If he can take down Carnage, if he can take down Carnage, he has a better chance against Riddles. Big chops. Trying to send him to the ropes. Nope. And top again, baby. Just like in three weeks at Lord of the Rings. And in comes Riddles, trying to get it, and big spear. Snap the kid in half. One, two, three. Oh, winner! Rage is demon. And I don't think he's done yet. Hey, wait a minute. Did someone tell him the match is over? Well, Karn is definitely riding high off this victory. On his way to War of the Ring, but do keep in mind, do keep in mind, it ain't going to be just these two in the ring with him. Yeah, Cabo.